Hey everybody! So, today we're gonna take a look at these USB testers, which are one of the best in my opinion. I use USB testers on a daily basis for laptops, smartphones and power supply diagnostics. These testers have pretty much similar features. They can measure voltage, current, temperature, power, load resistance and if you charge a device through the tester it will show you an approximate battery capacity. These four can also detect USB port protocols and trigger power delivery in different quick charge modes. I'll put the links to all this stuff down below in the description. Let's start with the cheapest one. This tester costs about 5 bucks and you can also order a load to test USB ports, chargers and power supplies. For example, this charger claims 2 amps and we can easily check it. Here we've got 1 amp and 2 amps with a slight voltage drop, but it's ok anyway. It's a very simple tester, it has only one button which allows you to cycle through the different screens. And if you press and hold this button, it'll flip the screen. And that's basically it. And yeah, this is USB Type-A, so if you want to connect to USB-C device, then you'll need adapters like this. This tester costs about 20 bucks and it has some advanced features compared to the previous one. We have two USB-C ports here, again you can use the same USB-C to Type-A adapters. Two buttons to navigate through the menu and two switches to turn on the tester and activate power delivery. This tester also has several screens with different information and here's protocol detection screen. Here you can check what features your charger, power bank or just the USB port supports. As you can see, this Anker power bank supports quick charge 2 and 3 and power delivery protocols. And I can change the output voltage from 5 to 9 volts. Pretty cool feature. For example, you can make a cable like this and use it to power some devices that require higher voltage than just 5 volts. This big boy comes in a fancy metal box or tin, it has a big screen, USB 3.1 Type A and Type C ports, and one micro USB input port. Let's plug it in. Nice screen. As you can see, it can automatically flip the screen, which is very handy. This meter has a simple oscilloscope, which measures frequency and shows the curves of voltage and current. And also supports 11 protocols. Pretty good meter. And these are my favorite ones. These meters come with simple user manuals, screen protectors, and this one comes with two USB adapters. These are not cheap meters, they cost about 60 bucks, but you get what you pay for. They have metal plates from both sides, feel solid and well built. This one has only USB-C ports and the big one both type A and C, and that's basically all the difference. We got a big beautiful screen here, the bus oscilloscope, And here we have nice user-friendly menu. Let's try to trigger quick charge protocols. We got 5 volts, 9, and even 12 volts on this port. I can plug the small one into the output port so you can see the voltage change better. Now, if I connect it to my laptop's charger, as you can see it starts with 5 volts, so you can charge your phones and stuff. Let's see if it supports quick charge. Nope, 5 volts is the only available option. But anyway, we can trigger some power delivery modes. And here's the list of available options. So we can easily switch the power supply from 5 to 18 or 20 volts. And if you plug your charger into the laptop, it'll automatically switch to a proper voltage, 20 volts in my case. And here's how much current and power the laptop's drawing.
I recommend buying any of these meters. They'll definitely cover all your needs. I usually use this one because nowadays all devices have USB supports and you don't need to use any adapters. And this meter has basically the same features as these ones. So I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.